guys and welcome to another ASMR video. In today's video I'm going to be taking a quick look at my favourite puzzle in the world. Um, this is one that I've taken um, part of for my channel's um, profile picture. Um, it's Memories of the 80s. It's a Gibson's puzzle. Um, widely available, you know, type in on Google. Amazon, wherever. Um, if you're into puzzles, uh, I don't do them very often, but I really enjoy doing this one. I've done it a few times now. What I like about it, of course, the subject matter is important. You know, the sweets, it's just lovely doing sweets and chocolate. Um, there's obviously a massive amount of nostalgia in there, you know, the 80s. Um, and it's just colourful. It's quite nice to do because you know you see, for example, a big purple, and you think, okay, we'll probably look at a milk tray. You see a big bit of green, or oh, okay, that could be fruit pastels, and you recognise the font in polo and things like that. So, yeah, really, really good puzzle to do um, if you're interested. Um, I'm just going to talk about the chocolates and sweets that we find on this uh, puzzle. I have done videos recently on sweets and chocolate on my channel. Uh, I'm recording this right at the end of July. Um, a bit of a heat wave going on, really hot. This is the coolest room in the house and it's still really hot. Um, but obviously a fan being on doesn't really work for ASMR. So uh, I'm going to grin and bear this and, uh, and bring you this uh, video, but I'm not sure when I'll actually upload it. Might be up I don't upload it for another couple of months and I'm talking about this heat wave and you're thinking, God, I think I remember that. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So we've got, um, I don't think showing you the bag is going to help. I'll actually have to quickly show you this. So this sweet memories, I've got the icon for the 80s, obviously that's my, my era. I, did, I think I've mentioned in the previous video, I did actually ask Gibsons if they're doing a 90s one. And they said they're, they're thinking about doing one. But it's kind of like when I got the 80s one was probably the best part of 10 years ago. So in theory we are due a 90s one if they're going to keep doing these. If they do a 90s one that would then become my favourite uh, puzzle. We've got 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s here. Um, I would say, a quick glance, there's not much in it, but I think the 80s is probably the most colourful one. I have to look at that, museumofbrands.com. I have to remember that after the video. A big puzzle noise going on. So, some um, covered up here. That looks like caramel. I've got to say, caramel is not definitely my favourite, and from memory, that's mostly caramel uh, more than chocolate. Uh, we've got Smarties there. You can see the um, the branding on it. You know, you've got like it's quite white, which is not really anymore. So, I think that's a zip so. Never heard of them, never seen them before. Obviously, Crunchy looks relatively similar. The price isn't, but yeah, the Crunchy looks very similar in the font and the colouring. Um, creamy fudge with peanuts. Don't remember that at all. Turkish Delight, something that is, I don't know, maybe bring it a bit closer for this bit of the puzzle. Maybe you can see that. Turkish Delight. Favorite by any means. Um, we've got fruit and nut and fruit and nut and whole nut. Um, I'm not sure they both still exist. I'm pretty sure whole nut does. I'm not sure about fruit and nut. Um, my granddad used to like those sort of chocolates, but I was never keen. Personally, I just don't think fruit and chocolate goes together very well. Um, and these ones are fruit creams. They look a bit like poppets, but they're not. And then we've got wildlife bar. They were standard chocolate for young people, like toddlers. 
focus on that. Give me an introduction to chocolate there. Very thin chocolate, like really thin chocolate bars. Um, and nothing to chew on either, it's just chocolate. So it was quite nice. Oh, in the mouth. We've got weekend parts. Take it up. In terms of space in the puzzle, just to show you the whole big thing again. You're probably saying milk trays, the biggest one. Maybe April fruits. Weekends, they're probably sort of joint second, really, for space. So it feels important. So it says assorted chocolates and candies. So this must be a bit like milk tray. You've got a few different ones. Um, a bit posher, but I don't remember those. The font reminds me a bit of sort of Galaxy more than Cadbury, so possibly it could well be a brand one. Uh, buttons. That font is different to now, but that's the font I remember growing up and having a different picture. And even going to the sweet shop and actually looking for a picture I wanted for the buttons, even though the taste of course was the same. We've got fruit pastels and fruit gums in little little boxes, little cardboard boxes. I remember them at cinema. We used to get cardboard packets of fruit pastels and fruit gums at the cinema. I've not seen them in the shops for a long time. Star bar I've never heard of. Um, try and see what it says. Milk and chocolate with peanut and toffee centre. Sounds quite nice I guess. Might be quite nice. Sort of a mixture between sort of, I don't know, marathon or Snickers and and you had different, um, quite a few different flakes in a, in a box. I vaguely remember that. I think that must have been to do with like getting an ice cream and sticking a flake in it um, rather than having flake as a normal chocolate bar. It would probably been good for making cakes and that sort of thing. A lion bar. I'd say of all the things on here that's changed branding. Again, I'll just show you the whole thing. Of all the things on here that's changed branding. I'd say Lion Bar looks most different to what it does now. Quality Street does a bit as well. But I'd say Lion Bar's the one, really. Whereas something like Flake looks very similar. Crunchy, excuse me, Free Pastels, Free Gums. I think Lion Bar looks really different. I have to picture in my head, I don't think there's a picture of a lion in it now, like there is there. That's a nice branding, that. I like that. Uh, we got roses. That looks quite similar, I think. I think. That's definitely what I remember roses looking like growing up. Dairy Crunch, that sounds quite nice. Milk chocolate with crisped rice. So that reminds me a lot of the, I think it's called Crunch actually, those bars. I haven't seen them for, in many places now, but they do still exist. So that's quite a nice chocolate bar. And we've got fries. Got peppermint cream and chocolate cream. My mum asked me to, if they still existed the other day, and I had to go looking for them. And they do sell them in Tesco, the normal ones. And I think the peppermint one, I think there's an orange one as well. And they sell them in... Um, I think it was Home Bargains I saw them in. So just completing this row, we've got Golden Cup. No idea what that is, but you've got a watch offer in it as well. Um, to look at it, possibly caramel. 
difficult to tell. No, it looks maybe honeycomb, but it looks very nice. Uh, cabana or cabana. No idea on that one. My gut feeling is it's something with a few different ingredients in it. It's not smooth chocolate. It's more like a lime bar or a Snickers than it is a dairy milk, I reckon. But I could be wrong on that. That's just a hunch. So we've got banjo. There's peanut banjo. I think there might be another one in this somewhere. Oh, yeah. Down the bottom there, another banjo. Look. A coconut one, that one. So banjo bar. Um, dairy milk. Relatively similar packaging. Classic colour, this sort of dark bluey purple like you have on the buttons there. Nestle fruit and nut. Now, obviously, we've got fruit and nut there, Cadbury's. I'm not sure what Nestle one, what it would be like. Um, so, but it looks, looks interesting. Uh, we've got MMs hiding in the background there. Uh, we've got jelly tots, two flavours. We've got jelly tots and candy tots. I don't remember candy tots, I remember jelly tots of course, um, they still exist very much so, um, although they haven't got the picture of the child on there anymore, they look freaky don't they? Uh, we've got Extra Time United, I have no idea what that is, I don't know if it's mint, I don't know if it's chocolate, I don't know if it's candy, no idea. The extra font looks a bit like the Wrigley's extra font, so it makes me think is it some sort of like mints or something, I don't know. Um, trying to miss, not miss anything on this row. We've got Ripple, which looks quite similar. Again, they've got that same watch offer, but I think there's the same offer. Um, Ripple looks very similar packaging to what it does now. They've kept that very similar. In the in 40, I mean, this is, bear in mind, this is 40 years ago. Polo looks, I think of all the ones, I mean, I think I said Lion looks the most different. Polo has to be the one that looks the same, surely, the most out of all these. Some look very similar. I think Kit Kat does. Um, so that's off the top of my shop there. Kit Kat. Milky Bar looks quite similar. I don't think I mentioned Milky Bar just now, but that looks quite similar to me. I'd say Polar looks the most similar. You will have to excuse me, break into you on occasion here. It's been a long day. I'm recording this quite late at night. We've got tree ball mints. Um, I think they look a bit different now, actually, tree ball mints. I think tree ball did soft mints as well. My granddad used to like mints. I thought it was very boring. Um, double decker looks bit different now. Very simple, it's a bit more, it's quite similar I suppose. Um, quite nice chocolate bar, double decker, but for me too much going on. Um, bounty, I don't like bounty at all because you've got, um, go, I, don't know, I don't like the texture of the coconut, not very nice. Mm. I assume that's the dark chocolate one or it's the milk chocolate one. Um, but interesting how I don't know if it's just the way they're taking the picture, but even though they're from the same era, 80s, I mean, I suppose they could still be like nine years apart, but that bounty seems to be covering the whole thing, whereas that one's not got the, uh, the picture of the palm tree. It's not, it doesn't go to the end. You've still got more white in there. It looks like they're two different um, eras. Kick out looks very sim simple. Again, have a break. Still the slogan. Bourneville Dark, classy looking chocolate that isn't it, really nice with the that classy red, slightly darker red and then you've got the gold and, the, and then the black writing, looks really nice that and I, I have to say in small doses, dark chocolate is a treat. We've got Opal Fruits here, now I have to say that is a hell of a bargain, 33p, that looks like a big multi-pack, the sort of one that these days will be about one pound fifty. Um, obviously, back when it was still called Opal Fruits, very nice. You've got the, the red and the yellow still. Quality.
Quality Street looks different. Interesting how it says Mac. I think that says Macintoshes. I thought that uh, Quality Street was. Um, actually, I don't know. But I don't think it's Macintosh. I never thought it was. Maybe it is. Um, be interesting to find that out. That one's interesting. It just it's literally called Nestle. Now, to me, that looks like Munchies. Branding, but it's, I don't think it is. So that might just be called Nestle milk chocolate. A bit like calling it Cadbury milk chocolate. You think that maybe it just needs to be flipped over and you can see what it actually is. Um, plain chocolate wafer looks very similar to Kit Kat, really. Um, all those ones you used to get. Just a fake version of Kit Kats to be fair from Tesco and other supermarkets. Um, not my favourite. Bar 6, milk chocolate wafer bar, another wafer bar, 13p, pretty cheap really. Um, Marathon, Snickers of course, it's very similar branding again, uh, similar colours. Another fruit and nut bar there, bigger than that one. Doesn't look appealing at all. Got a big thing for milk tray there. They got a whole nut, so again we got two fruit and nuts, so two fruit and nut, two whole nuts. Just make sure you can see this. Uh, two fruit and nut, two yeah, there. Whole nut more expensive. Again, it looks like different eras perhaps because that's very basic, not much Cadbury branding in there. Whereas here you've got like again the same colour scheme there, that although slightly different. A bit more purpley than blue. Um, in the background, I can't make out what that is, unfortunately. It looks like that might be Terry's, but it's difficult to tell what it actually is. Um, let's see how far I've got. As I haven't talked about, um, Fry's Five Centers. That looks, I guess it looks like the, the Fry's chocolate up there, like with a creamy inside. That possibly could be strawberry or raspberry. That looks pretty disgusting to me. Certain fruits you can get away with in chocolate. Like, I think that orange is lovely. Raspberry can be to an extent. But once you go beyond that, nah, I'm not having it. So going over to the side, we've got Milky Way. And Milky Way changed its branding in the 90s from blue to white. I think it's still white. I've not had a Milky Way for a long time. colour. That reminds me of the blue car and the red car had a race advert which was in the 90s or 80s possibly. Um, we've got Galaxy here, very basic writing there, nothing sort of um, smooth about it. Very much blocky and to the point. Uh, but you know the colour scheme is quite similar but it has changed design quite a lot. Twix there, again quite a nice chocolate but not the best really, I don't think anyone would choose a, a Twix really, when you've got all these other ones to choose from. Um, but yeah, colour scheme very similar, the font on Twix is quite similar. I keep saying it's quite similar as if I've had these chocolates, I'm probably talking about ones when I last saw them years and years ago, it may well have changed since then. Um, so we've, we've got that far. Uh, well, let me see. So on to Toffee Crisp, still only 16p. Very similar branding there, Toffee Crisp hasn't changed much at all now. Um, I'll do, I might as well be done this way now. They've got Toblerone, again, colour scheme the same. Font very similar. Obviously there's a small Toblerone in that one. Uh, we've got Mars Bar there again. I've got to say it again, very similar font. Similar colours, they've kept the same. We've got um, classic uh, selection, Turkish. Which is different to that Turkish one to light over there. This is Cadbury's Turkish, no thanks. I've got a uh, bar noir, which I don't know what that looks like. It looks like dark chocolate, of course. I don't know what that is. It could be like a mint uh, fondant or something inside. Um, difficult to tell, really. Um, but it doesn't exist anymore. 
whisper, same colour scheme as now. Font's very different, but yeah, same colour scheme. Price, another one from Macintosh. It says, bear with me, fudge with raisins and peanuts in the milk chocolate. So it's not far of the Snickers or a Lion Bar, that sort of thing, maybe. Um, another Banjo one has coconut, so the other one was up there, that. Bits, very neon, the 80s writing, that. Terry, so I'm going to have to just put this close to the camera because I can't actually read it where I am. What have we got here? Blended milk and plain chocolate containing peppermint sugar crisp. That does sound very nice, quite sickly mind, sugar crisp, but that blended milk and dark, oh that sounds very nice. Well, they call it plain chocolate, but they say dark chocolate. Um, I'd like to have tried that one. I've got Black Magic, my mum loves Black Magic, she likes dark chocolate. Um, looks like a Black Magic. It's difficult to tell if that's a box that's been hidden, or it looks like a bar. Maybe it's a bar actually, 50 grams. What's that? Terry's Pyramid. I guess that's some sort of mint pyramid, a bit like a sort of shaped a bit like a segment of Toblerone. It looks very nice. Rolo is very similar again. Um, quite nice chocolate Rolos. Uh, refreshers. Lovely colour scheme on Refreshers. Really big fan of Refreshers. Love the colour scheme. Um, where else have we got to? So I kind of got a bit sidetracked there. Whisper, I think I, oh no, I talked about that, didn't I? Um, Yorkie, big chunky value. Again, they've got big block, you know, this is, so where I said before, Galaxy is not, you know, it's like a smooth chocolate. It even says they're smooth, but it's not very smooth lettering. Whereas Yorkie, you know, it is what it says on the tin, big chunky letters there. Um, we've got Aero, two types, we've got the mint and the normal Aero. Always preferred Whisper to Aero. They're quite similar, I think, quite bubbly chocolate, but a bigger fan of Whisper. But I think Aero is easier to break up and put sort of um, sprinkle over like an ice cream or something. I much prefer the mint Aero to the normal one. In fact, I've not seen the normal one in the shops for ages. I actually used to prefer the Aero bars where it was like you, they were sort of segments a bit like, um, I'm trying to think of an example. They were shaped almost like fudge, really. Or say twirl or something like that. There was two of them in there. I prefer that aero to the um, wider and thinner chocolate, which is these ones here. And then finally, I'll talk about, oh, the last one to mention is licorice all sorts. But a very different style of um, branding there. Um, but still just as disgusting. So gone through all of them. I can't believe I've been talking that long. I thought this would be a quick video. Um, I reckon just to give my, I'd say so give, to, to give awards, let's say, the award to the best design of a, um, of a, of a wrapper branding lion bar. I, mean, I am a big fan of that lion bar. It looks old, but I like it. It's really nice. Price for the stay the same the most polo. Price for, for changing lion bar. Um, the my favourite one. If I could eat any of these right now, my favourite one. I think my favourite one overall. I mean, you, you can't ever go wrong with dairy milk, but I think my favourite one overall probably would be something like Toblerone or Whisper. But if I had in these right now, I have to say, looking at this and being quite hungry, I think I'd quite fancy Bourneville actually. And also, I think Bourneville shares the price of line, shares the price of line actually, because I think Bourneville has got a really nice. I think that's such a classy design. I'm a really big fan of that. I'd say the price for the I don't know what the hell you are. It's probably United. No idea what that is. Um, Price for the one I'd most like to try that I've never tried. I'd say probably bits. It sounds really interesting with a mint. Um, yeah, I'd probably I'd probably go with that. 
I'd say prize for the one that actually I'd say pyramids would be one as well let's try so those two I'd say prize for the one that I've never tried and don't ever want to um, fries five centers I'm not interested in that at all or Turkish delight I've never probably tried that but um, yeah so there we have it I think that's probably wrapped up the video thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one cheers